Hey, what's up, guys? This is Phil Bailey, architect major at Academy of Art University, and I'm going to be doing a quick, uh, well, actually, it's not going to be quick. I'm going to do a time lapse of me just drawing some sacred geometric uh, shapes, figures. I'm working on a proposal for my LA161 or IAD161, which is a sacred geometry class at Academy of Art. And I'm just going to go ahead and start by showing you some of my drawing materials. First and foremost, I have some of this craft uh, recycled paper. Then I also have some artist tape. I believe this is artist loft tape. Very nice black. I have uh, some fabric castell pencils and various um, values. The big man here, Superman. This is where I keep all of my shavings and um, sometimes blades for uh, building models and also my pencil sharpener which I definitely need that. I have a basic cheap as hell 360 degree protractor, but I might use it, I might not. I have my uh, 90 degree 30, 60, 90 uh, clear triangle. I have a artist loft, really big ruler. Um, I got this from, I believe, Michael's. I got this from Michael's and I use my student discount. Then here is all of my materials. Um, I have some of this stuff. This is actually orange. It's pretty badass. It's actually primo, um, like clay and whatnot. This is like 99 cents, and this is like a total steal. Then I also have some in metallic, and basically I can just put this in the oven once I get a form, and and use that. So I might use that for some kind of model. I might, I don't know. I've got a lot of sticky notes, some exactos, um, a miniature engineering scale, all that good stuff. Prismas, love prismas. Alright, so I'm going to get started, and I'm just going to see what I can do really, really quickly here. Let's see. Got to measure a space to become the circular driveway, which I'm then going to construct from there. And this might be a boring video to most people but for me this is just kind of like an artist statement video something that I can look back at and just kind of document um, the things that I do for class so for those of you who are architect students and may be interested in learning about uh, sacred geometry or if you're interested in going to Academy of Art definitely you could follow my channel and you will see what I'm going through um, any of the bullshit that I go through you'll know you know, why, what it was, how it was resolved, how does the school handle issues, you know, it's like any other school, I don't think any school out there is perfect, I think they all have their own bullshit that they go through, and it's just a matter of how their administrators deal with that bullshit that makes, I guess, makes the school what it is, and uh, of course they're academics. So I'm going to start off by drawing a straight line and actually this is where um, I definitely want to use my triangle on this paper. I'm using the flat edge of the paper. And um, then I'm going to be able to draw a very straight line. I'm going to measure about two inches which will, sorry, not two inches, I'm going to measure four inches, which is going to be my diameter of 48 feet. And so I'm going to use that as a starting point for the math that I'm going to use to construct this geometric shape. And I'm thinking about doing some kind of a, a sacred spiral or um, I guess a golden spiral with a one-to-one -one ratio. So let's just see what I can do real quick. I'm trying to make sure that the edge of what I when I draw is not going to go too far over. Um, I'm just trying to think about how am I going to actually construct this curve. Let's see, if that one curve is going to come around here. Um, hmm. I don't know. We'll just have to see. So with the edge of the paper, I'm just going to draw a pretty straight line. one even stroke 
make a little tick mark where I'm going to put the um, the center of my circle. This compass is actually a piece of shit compass. It really is. Um, I don't like it. It kind of slips. Maybe you'll be able to see this, but it should not do this. And when you move it, sometimes it will lock in and it will go, but then I can just kind of like very easily slip it and then I can, oh yeah, it's going to catch it again. So I'm definitely going to get me like a new Master Bow set. Um, I was looking at, uh, oh yeah, and by the way, I'm going to mark my little endpoints here. Uh, I was looking on eBay for some uh, vintage compasses that I could use. And I'm just going to kind of sweep very lightly just to see where the distance is. Maybe that's okay. Now I'm going to bring up here. I'm going to try to sweep around in one go, keeping a firm point in that center. Okay, great. Okay, so now that I have this circle, it's probably going to be very, very difficult to see that. It's going to be a bit difficult to see that, but maybe if I just kind of rotate a little bit and maybe I'll darken the video so that way you guys can see it a little bit better and I'll, I'll do like a zoom in or a close up or something like that but now what I need to do is I need to also extend this line because I need to do the same um, equal opposite on this side so actually what I'm going to do is take my ruler I'm going to measure another four inches and I'm just going to draw ever so lightly at first just in case I need to go again and try it again. So I know that the center is going to be here now and I'm going to make sure that's actually going to be right. It's been a while since I've done this so not extremely perfect but I just want to see so if I kind of go from this edge, then I can get an idea whether or not, and it does look like it will work. So we're going to now start from here. Nice firm placement on that center point. I'm going to rotate all the way around at least to the quarter mark, just a little bit above the quarter mark. So what I'm doing now is I'm making I'm making an equal opposite curve here. And let's see here. I actually need to do the same thing on this side because the wing of the house, like this is a center driveway, but the wings of the house, this would be the west wing, this would be the east wing, um, this is going to be here, our south side, and this is obviously going to be our north side. And so our sun is going to sweep across like this. And um, I'm doing a few studies right now with school. Well, not with school, but I'm doing a few studies on my own to kind of determine what kind of energy efficiency am I going to have in this building. I want it to be a LEED certified building, but, you know, I really want LEED Platinum. Uh, this is a very big house. So to make it lead platinum is going to take a, a few things, which one of those things is going to be the distance between um, a few locations, like uh, distance between you know churches or you know post office, schools, uh, community centers like that. It's very important for a lead building to have that kind of proximity. And therefore, because this house was originally designed to be in a hilltop property, you wouldn't necessarily have all those things in that close proximity range. So that's kind of a disadvantage. And so what I thought about was, well, what if I 
um, partnered up with someone who was a developer, meaning a developer who um, invest in community projects and and builds like that. That would be very cool. My computer seems to be having my screen always shut down on me and I don't like that so I'm going to try to change that real quick. And let's see if we can go to power settings. Where the heck are you power settings? Power options. So I want to take it off of power saver. I don't want my screen to go off for at least an hour. Thank you. Alright. Okay, good. Now what I want to do is, let's see if I can possibly bring this down just a little bit. Let's see. Alrighty, so this is the center point of the circular driveway. You would kind of enter through here, and you can come around, and then you can leave, and then come around here. There's going to be some kind of downgrade, and the property starts higher elevation here, and it's going to gradually lower as you go uh, into the distance. And so I'm, I'm most likely not going to do this whole video, but I just wanted to kind of do a short little vlog and just kind of explain my thought process behind the architecture that I do, the materials that I use, and what the whole intent of my vlogs are about, which is to inspire other people who may be interested in architecture to talk about, ask questions about my school, Academy of Art, and um, really just to kind of be an inspirational speaker to those out there who may want to do this or they, they want to know like you know why did I get into it how did I get into it kind of thing and all that good stuff okay so I need to make a straight line that's gonna be a property line and in order to do that I'm gonna take my compass and I'm going to basically sweep some lines uh, that's gonna be wider than this opening here. So I'm going to put my point on the center. I'm going to open up my compass until it's a bit wider than the curve. You might be able to see that just a little bit. Then I'm going to do a few sweeps kind of light. Um, and actually what I just realized is what I need to do is instead of sweeping it from the center point, I actually need to sweep, I believe, from the outside to get the two intersections. Like I said, um, it's been a while since I've done many geometric constructions, and which is why this class was a major blessing because I really, really um, was excited to, to be in this class. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sweep over the circle to make sure that I intersect the center. Now I can make a sweep this way. Then I'm going to go to the other side of my circle. At the same width, I'm going to sweep again. Now I've got a center point right here, which I can construct a line from the center point of this circle through this point, and that's going to give me a perpendicular, and I'm going to measure it just to make sure it, it will be the same. And so I'm just going to take my straight edge directly from here through that point and I want to look kind of directly on top to make sure that the width of the pencil lead and the width or you know the width of the pencil lead will actually will will not will not be uh, I guess in the way or I don't know I, it's kinda hard to explain but Basically, you just want to make sure you look down over it to make sure that your intersection point um, and the point where you're starting from will actually get you what you need. So I'm just going to draw 
a line here all the way through and this line represents the center point of my property and it represents the east wing from the west wing and um, in terms of like feng shui and stuff like that I have like a lot of feng shui underneath my background not like a whole lot but I've been studying feng shui in terms of the elements and if you look at um, I'll use this as a reference it's actually pretty good it kind of represents the center here um, so this is the center of the property this piece of tape here now in feng shui you've got nine different areas which represent nine different um, energy zones or things like that in the world which uh, they have different meanings and and the way that you kind of start is would be somewhere down here in the uh, it's kind of the kind of the journey area and it's represented by the colors black and by the elements of water now far opposite of that would be fire and then on the left hand side of that would be wood or earth and then over here on the right would actually be metal and so what I what I realized was after I've gone through making my house you know bigger more efficient more organic more curvy um, it just so happened that all of the elements of this house were kind of already in place and then I realized when I looked at the Bhagwan Feng Shui I was like oh wait a second that kind of represents what I already have um, and the very center of the property represents kind of the uh, the spirituality or well-being or health I guess you can call it and so uh, the cool thing about this this plan is you would start in the circular driveway which there is a three layer waterfall here on this quarter curve and then this quarter you actually have the entrance of the property and if I can do some if I can show you guys some renderings I'll, I'll put the renderings here in the video or maybe I'll put links um, in the description to my Behance profile where you will be able to see uh, not only photos of what I have drawn better up but you'll also be able to see renderings of how these elements relate to each other and so basically this this is water you know and so as you go back I have this canal which kind of spans the center of the property and basically way back here is going to be a circular smaller circular area with a fire pit so that way I'll have the beginning element of water the ending element of fire um, the master suite kind of curves around and will be built along this edge with a view diagonal view to uh, the center point here which will be fire so there's going to be palm trees and I thought about having little gardens that I can plant along the way along these different trees and then here along the um, east wing would have another view so you kind of get this triangular um, view there or like a triangular organization and also in feng shui you would have the upper uh, this upper left hand corner represents prosperity this is actually the location of the master bedroom and I didn't really notice that at first and then if you look here at the upper right hand this represents um, relationships and if you kind of look um, over here in this this lower right kind of represents travel over here represents kind of um, family community and knowledge area so there's a lot of different things that you know can get kind of overwhelming when talking about feng shui and architecture but like I said I'm very thankful that I'm at least at a school where they're going to teach me everything that I need to know about building sustainable um, you know and energy and water management all that kind of stuff and um, you know these these are my favorite tools here I, I use these tools you know pencil basic straight edge and a compass like I could just do my whole plan and 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 just use these by themselves um, so what I need to do is I've already bisected the center circle into uh, four quadrants and now I have an alignment that I can use I can start to offset these lines to start making the different um, shapes of the buildings and stuff like that um, 
but I won't do that just yet. Um, I'm just kind of doing kind of like a, a real-time brainstorm thinking about this project because in about, let's see, it's about week three at Academy of Art now, so in about nine weeks I'm going to have to submit a proposal of my my final project for Sacred Geometry and I'm thinking about just taking my whole plan and redesigning it with Sacred Geometry and trying to figure out different proportions and relationships that will make my plan a much better plan and um, I think that would be very cool to do that I can actually use my college project for this. I've done this in high school, um, I've done this in middle school, I've always I, like I used to never do my I used to never do my homework. I mean like I would do homework but the thing is, like, I, w I might do it late and get like late points because why? It was it was not it was not inspirational. Like they were having me do basic square houses, and I was like, dude, like, what the hell? Like I'm I like curvy things, and I want to be building with curves in my future. Therefore, I want to be doing curvy things today, and that's exactly why I'm on the path that I'm on right now. And so to be able to have these different kind of opportunities at school makes it a very a very cool thing so what I'm gonna do also is I'm gonna take the same points from over here I'm gonna make sure that I'm more than halfway because I need to divide this into quadrants because now I'm gonna be able to do other geometries and then I can work on creating this kind of spiral and um, I'm just gonna draw some more light lines there I'm going to bring it over to the other edge. And sometimes it's easier to just draw a point just so that way you know exactly where you should be. And you definitely want to use like the base of the compass when you're placing it to be absolutely straight. And then I'm going to swing back over here. Now what I'll do, same thing I did for the other, is I'm going to take my straight edge I'm going to mark the center point so that I can see it a little bit better. Make sure it's completely straight. Make sure that the points, make sure that your pencil mark is going to go through these points. Um, and just looking at this, you can kind of see like this looks like it might be pretty parallel to the other line that I've drawn but it seems like there may be like a slight variance as I go back here so I'm just gonna make sure again that the center point of the circle is gonna be gone through and I can I, I can kind of see where the variance might come in actually and I wanna take my little scale and I'm going to do me a favor I'm going to make a reference line make a very light reference line and then I'm going to take my mini engineering scale I'm going to measure the distance between these two lines I'm getting I'm basically getting three let's see I'm basically getting three and a sixteenth here now if I come down a little bit more I'm getting three I'm getting three so that tells me that there's going to be a sixteenth of an inch variation from here to here and one way to check this is if I use my triangle just to see if this first line is indeed straight or if the second line is indeed crooked and the only disadvantage of making these hand constructions is that um, sometimes you do have different variations but um, in terms of geometry 
you will be able to start to work on different ideas which will help you out um, with your different CAD models because even though you may be good at AutoCAD there's no substitution for actually making really good hand drawings so don't let anybody tell you that you know no matter how many years in the future it will be you know like there's always going to be an importance of architectural discipline to have hand drawn um, ideas and so what I'm looking at here is there's uh, there is a slight variation in angle where as if maybe this circle is not completely straight and I think I'm gonna blame that on this freaking compass like I said this is not a very good compass you can see that I can kind of jerk this around a little bit and because of that there's going to be some kind of margin of error you know no matter how gentle I want to twist and turn or how light of pressure I use it's just not going to be very good for me so definitely I'm going to go on Amazon or eBay and I'm going to you know find me a better compass so I can do better drawings but I guess I'm going to kind of close this off here I'm going to take some photos I'm going to upload what I have so far and I'm just going to keep drawing and um, thank you guys for watching for those of you who uh, you know support architecture and support art in schools definitely check out my nonprofit AMA it stands for aspiring masters of art and I'm in the process of funding it so that way I can actually make that dream a reality and start to really um, you know go to schools have speeches talk to them about different you know practices to help them become better you know better students as they're going from middle school through high school through college how to be better prepared because you know we always say you know when we're older we always say you know eh, man if somebody had told me back in the day when I was younger I'd be so much better off and I was fortunate that I had the Boys and Girls Club but I want to create something that's a little bit better than a Boys and Girls Club that's that's kind of what I want to do is I want to make something that's a little bit better than a Boys and Girls Club and um you know, I'm going to I'm going to keep striving to make that happen. So, uh, definitely, please subscribe, please follow. Um, if you have any comments, leave some comments, and um, I will see you guys for another little talk and drawing session. I'm going to get back to drawing here. Work on this plan.